I recently received this the Nubia 2 by Juvia's Place as a gift. Here's just a quick peek of what this palette looks like. This was my first time using this palette. I do have other tutorials using their Masquerade palette if you're interested. I'll totally leave links below. And um, so check that out if you're interested in that. But this is my first time using this actual palette. And you know, with Thanksgiving coming up, I was like, I feel inspired to do a super Thanksgiving -y kind of look. So I have like some golds and some oranges with some, you know, copper tones and um, browns. Hopefully my camera stays in focus. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to bring you guys a really fun cut crease. I've been so into cut creases lately. It's like I just learned to do them and now I can't stop. Like every look I do turns into a cut crease. <laughs> so I hope you guys really like it. This is a full face tutorial. So start to finish, I do foundation, brows, shadow, everything. So I hope you guys really like it. Okay, so let's get started. I'm taking my Makeup Fixing Mist by Pixie by Petra and I'm putting it all over my face. Now I'm priming my face with my Professional by Benefit in the Hangover by Too Faced. To start on my eyebrows, I'm taking my Dip Brow in the color Granite and this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just carving out my eyebrows. I do like to freehand my eyebrows. Um, I don't really have eyebrows, so I draw mine up. To make them a little bit more darker because I like my brows super black, I'm taking Carbon by MAC and I'm just kind of filling them in even more to make them more intense. And now I'm taking my Studio Finish Concealer in NW30 and I'm cleaning up my lines on the top. And then I'm taking the same concealer but in NW20 and I'm cleaning up my lines on the bottom. I'm going back into the dip brow and just drawing little hairs. I'm going to be taking my Fix Plus and spraying my brush so it's a little damp. And I'm putting the excess liquid on my face. Now taking my Sheer Glow in the color Stromboli by NARS. I'm going to start applying that all over my face as my foundation. Now to prime my eyes real quick, I'm taking my 24 hour extend eye base by MAC. I'm putting that all over my eyelids. To highlight my face, I'm going to be using my Tape Shape Concealer in the color Light by Tarte Cosmetics. I'm just putting that along the T of my face and then I'll be blending that out all together with my Damp Black Beauty Blender. Now I'm taking my loose setting powder in Translucent by Laura Mercier and I'm going to start putting that all over my concealer to set it. And now I'm taking my Get Perfect powder in the color Medium by Femme Contour to set the rest of my foundation. I'm going into my Tartiste Pro Glow palette in the color Sculpt by Tarte and I'm going to start sculpting out my face to contour. I go in my cheekbones, on my forehead, on my temples, um, and along my nose. Now for the palette, we're going into the Nubia 2 by Juvia's Place. I'm so excited to use this. So the first color we're using is Zari, and I'm going to be putting that underneath my brow bone as a highlight. Now I'm going to Madagascar, and I'm putting that in the hollows of my eyes, and this will be like my transition color. To warm it up a little bit more, I'm adding Morocco now, and I'm going to start putting that into the crease as well, and this will really warm it up to bring that orange out. Now I'm going into the color Kenya, which is kind of a dark brown, and I'm really going into the crease because we're going to do a cut crease, and I want to fade from dark to light, and I'm bringing it out into my outer corner as well. And just blend, blend, blend. You want it to ease out. I'm going back into Morocco and that's just going to help blend that out a little bit more. Now I'm taking my Studio Finish Concealer in NW20 and I'm going to start cutting out my crease now. You just want to get the line as smooth and straight as possible. Just going to blend that out with my finger. And now for my lid color, I'm using Nefertiti, I think that's how you say it. And I'm going to be packing that all over my lid. Now I'm going to go back into Kenya and start darkening up the outer corner of my lid and also blending that 
Nefertiti or however you say it and the Kenya combined so it has like a nice gradient effect. Now for my inner corner I'm going to be taking Nairobi which is a really nice like gold and I'm going to be bringing it in there just to add a nice pop of color and a highlight. Brushing off my excess powder and I'm also bringing that Nairobi underneath. Now going into my jumbo eye pencil in the color milk, I'm going to be lining my waterline. Now for my lower lid, I'm going into Madagascar and blending that underneath. And then also going into Morocco and blending that underneath. I want the bottom to match the top. And then right on my lash line, I will be using Kenya to darken that up a little bit so it can be super smoky. For my blush, I'm going to be using Goalie, I think it's called. It's by NARS. Now to highlight, I'm going back into my Tartise Pro Glow Palette and I'll be using Strobe to highlight the tea in my face and then I end up going back into Lit. Do my winged liner, I'm going to be using my Vinyl Liquid Liner by NYX Cosmetics and I'm just drawing a nice simple winged liner on top. For my mascara today, I'm using the Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline New York. This is my favorite drugstore mascara ever. For my lips, I'm going to be using Celebrity Skin Liquid Velour Lipstick by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I love this. It's like the perfect nude. For lashes today, I'm going to be using my Ardell 105 Lashes and my Duo Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins. This is my favorite because it's latex free and I'm allergic to latex so this doesn't irritate my eyes. I did want my lips a little shiny so I'm going in with Like Lip Gloss by Kylie Cosmetics and I'm kind of blending that in with my fingers so it can look nice and smooth. And then to set my whole face, I'm using my Fix and Mist O2 by Makeup Forever. And we are all done now, you guys. Okay, you guys, so I gotta hurry because my camera is about to die. But um, I am all done. I hope you guys really like it. I'm really feeling these colors. Um, not just for Thanksgiving, but for like kind of fall like holiday even makeup i think is so pretty i hope that my camera is picking up the colors as good as they're showing up on my eyes because these are amazing i always love juvia the place their um eyeshadows are just so amazing the colors are always so amazing and um hopefully you guys are able to really see um the colors as good as i can see them in person once again thanks so much for watching remember that you can follow me all over social media i am on facebook twitter snapchat and instagram all at msyx makeup the same way i am here and i will leave all the details right here for you i hope you guys all have a wonderful thanksgiving and you get to enjoy your thanksgiving with your family and get delicious delicious food i love food I love to eat, so I am very excited. Um, Thanksgiving is always one of my favorite holidays, so I really hope that you guys have a great holiday um, this year, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye!